In statistical mechanics, the POTS model, a generalization of the Ising model, is a model of interacting spins on a crystalline lattice. By studying the POTS model, one may gain insight into the behavior of ferromagnets and certain other phenomena of solid-state physics. The strength of the POTS model is not so much that it models these physical systems well, it is rather that the one-dimensional case is exactly solvable, and that it has a rich mathematical formulation that has been studied extensively. The model is named after Fenfrey Potts, who described the model near the end of his 1951 PhD thesis. The model was related to the planar Potts, or clock model, which was suggested to him by his advisor, Cyril D.O.M.B. The four-state planar Potts model is sometimes known as the Ashkin-Teller model, after Julius Ashkin and Edward Teller, who considered an equivalent model in 1943. The Potts model is related to, and generalized by, several other models, including the XY model, the Heisenberg model, and the Anvector model. The infinite range Potts model is known as the KAC model. When the spins are taken to interact in a non-Obelian manner, the model is related to the flux tube model, which is used to discuss confinement in quantum chromodynamics. Generalizations of the Potts model have also been used to model grain growth in metals and coarsening in foams. A further generalization of these methods by James Glazier and Francois Grana, known as the cellular Potts model, has been used to simulate static and kinetic phenomena in foam and biological morphogenesis. Physical Description the POTS model consists of spins that are placed on a lattice. The lattice is usually taken to be a two-dimensional rectangular Euclidean lattice, but is often generalized to other dimensions or other lattices. DOMB originally suggested that the spin take one of Q possible values, distributed uniformly about the circle, at angles where n equals 1. Q and that the interaction Hamiltonian be given by with the sum running over the nearest neighbor pairs over all lattice sites. The site colors C take on values in 1, Q. Here, JC is a coupling constant, determining the interaction strength. This model is now known as the vector Potts model or the clock model. Potts provided the location in two dimensions of the phase transition, for Q equals 3 and 4. In the limit as Q infinity, this becomes the XY model. What is now known as the standard Potts model was suggested by Potts in the course of his study above, and uses a simpler Hamiltonian, given by, where delta is the Kronecker delta, which equals 1 whenever C equals Sj and 0 otherwise. The Q equals 2 standard Potts model is equivalent to the Ising model and the two-state vector Potts model, with Jp equals minus 2Jc. The Q equals 3 standard Potts model is equivalent to the three-state vector Potts model, with Jp equals minus Jc. A common generalization is to introduce an external magnetic field, term H and moving the parameters inside the sums and allowing them to vary across the model, where beta equals 1, kT the inverse temperature, k the Boltzmann constant and t the temperature. The summation may run over more distant neighbors on the lattice, or may in fact be an infinite range force. Different papers may adopt slightly different conventions, which can alter H and the associated partition function by additive or multiplicative constants. Discussion. Despite its simplicity as a model of a physical system, the Potts model is useful as a model system for the study of phase transitions. For example, two-dimensional lattices with J greater than zero exhibit a first-order transition if Q greater than 4. When Q4 a continuous transition is observed, as in the Ising model where Q equals 2. Further use is found through the model's relation to percolation problems and the tut and chromatic polynomials found in combinatorics. The model has a close relation to the Fortua and Caseline random cluster model, another model in statistical mechanics. Understanding this relationship has helped develop efficient Markov chain Monte Carlo methods for numerical exploration of the model at small q. For integer values of q, q3, 
The model displays the phenomenon of interfacial adsorption with intriguing critical wetting properties when fixing opposite boundaries in two different states. Measure theoretic description. The one-dimensional POTS model may be expressed in terms of a subshift of finite type, and thus gains access to all of the mathematical techniques associated with this formalism. In particular, it can be solved exactly using the techniques of transfer operators. This section develops the mathematical formalism based on measure theory behind this solution. While the example below is developed for the one-dimensional case, many of the arguments, and almost all of the notation, generalizes easily to any number of dimensions. Some of the formalism is also broad enough to handle related models, such as the XY model, the Heisenberg model, and the N-vector model. Topology of the space of states let Q equals 1, Q be a finite set of symbols, and let be the set of all by infinite strings of values from the set Q. This set is called a full shift. For defining the POTS model, either this whole space, or a certain subset of it, a subshift of finite type, may be used. Shifts get this name because there exists a natural operator on this space, the shift operator tau. QZ QZ, acting as this set has a natural product topology, the base for this topology are the cylinder sets that is, the set of all possible strings where k plus 1 spins match up exactly to a given, specific set of values she 0, she k. Explicit representations for the cylinder sets can be gotten by noting that the string of values corresponds to a quadic number, and thus, Intuitively, the product topology resembles that of the real number line. Interaction energy The interaction between the spins is then given by a continuous function V. QZR on this topology. Any continuous function will do, for example will be seen to describe the interaction between nearest neighbors. Of course, different functions give different interactions, so a function of S0, S1 and S2 will describe our next nearest neighbor interaction. A function V gives interaction energy between a set of spins, it is not the Hamiltonian, but is used to build it. The argument of the function V is an element SQZ, that is, an infinite string of spins. In the above example, the function v just picked out two spins out of the infinite string, the values s0 and s1. In general, the function v may depend on some or all of the spins, currently, only those that depend on a finite number are exactly solvable. Define the function hn. qzr as this function can be seen to consist of two parts. The self-energy of a configuration, S0, S1, Sn, of spins, plus the interaction energy of this set and all the other spins in the lattice. The n-infinity limit of this function is the Hamiltonian of the system, for finite n. These are sometimes called the finite state Hamiltonians. Partition function and measure the corresponding finite state partition function is given by with CO being the cylinder sets defined above. Here, beta equals 1, kT, where k is Boltzmann's constant, and T is the temperature. It is very common in mathematical treatments to set beta equals 1, as it is easily regained by rescaling the interaction energy. This partition function is written as a function of the interaction V to emphasize that it is only a function of the interaction, and not of any specific configuration of spins. The partition function, together with the Hamiltonian, are used to define a measure on the Borel sigma algebra in the following way. The measure of a cylinder set, i.e., an element of the base, is given by one can then extend by countable additivity to the full sigma algebra. This measure is a probability measure, it gives the likelihood of a given configuration occurring in the configuration space QZ. By endowing the configuration space with a probability measure built from a Hamiltonian in this way, the configuration space turns into a canonical ensemble. Most thermodynamic properties can be expressed directly in terms of the partition function. Thus, for example, the Helmholtz free energy is given by another important related quantity as the topological pressure. 
defined as which will show up as the logarithm of the leading eigenvalue of the transfer operator of the solution. Free field solution The simplest model is the model where there is no interaction at all, and so V equals C and H N equals C. The partition function becomes if all states are allowed, that is, the underlying set of states is given by a full shift. Then the sum may be trivially evaluated as if neighboring spins are only allowed in certain specific configurations. Then the state space is given by a subshift of finite type. The partition function may then be written as where card is the cardinality or count of a set, and fix is the set of fixed points of the iterated shift function. The Q times Q matrix A is the adjacency matrix specifying which neighboring spin values are allowed. Interacting model The simplest case of the interacting model is the icing model, where the spin can only take on one of two values, Sn, minus 1, 1, and only nearest neighbor spins interact. The interaction potential is given by this potential can be captured in a 2 times 2 matrix with matrix elements with the index sigma, sigma, minus 1, 1. The partition function is then given by the general solution for an arbitrary number of spins, and an arbitrary finite range interaction, is given by the same general form. In this case, the precise expression for the matrix M is a bit more complex. The goal of solving a model such as the POTS model is to give an exact closed form expression for the partition function in an expression for the Gibbs states or equilibrium states in the limit of n infinity, the thermodynamic limit, the POTS model in signal and image processing. The POTS model has applications in signal reconstruction. Assume that we are given noisy observation of a piecewise constant signal G in Rn. To recover G from the noisy observation vector f in Rn, one seeks a minimizer of the corresponding inverse problem. The LP POTS functional P gamma which is defined by the jump penalty forces piecewise constant solutions and the data term couples the minimizing candidate U to the data F. The parameter gamma greater than zero controls the trade-off between regularity and data fidelity. There are fast algorithms for the exact minimization of the L1 and the L2 POTS functional. In image processing, the POTS functional is related to the segmentation problem. However, in two dimensions the problem is NP-hard.